Hello kids, Coffee Dog here, Saturday. I am bringing you the review of the movie Rough Cut. Here's the DVD that I don't have, because it doesn't exist on DVD. It's only on VHS. Uh, Rough Cut, I only chose this movie because obviously we're on the Rough Cuts channel, and I thought I should watch that, even though this Rough Cut is more into reference of a diamond than our channel being film. It stars Burt Reynolds. It is a mystery, thriller, not so much thriller, but comedy, crime caper. Uh, it came out in 1980. It is technically an American film, but you will, it looks just like a, a foreign film. It really is like pretty much one of Burt Reynolds' only foreign films. It's filmed in England and the Netherlands and uh, New Amsterdam and all over the place like that. Uh, you know, they're on, you know, they're driving all over weird on the separate side of the road, and, you know, it's a foreign film. Um, <laughs> it's a jewel heist movie. Basically, he plays a diamond thief, and he runs into a girl who is also a great thief, and he kind of takes her under his wing and under his self, because that's what Burt Reynolds does in movies, because he was quite the man back in the 80s and 70s, I guess. I don't know. Um, I didn't want to watch this movie at all. I dreaded it because it just like, I was like, oh, a slow 80s movie with Burt Reynolds about whatever. Um, I only watched it for you because somebody's got to review a movie called Rough Cut. Uh, overall, I'm glad I watched it. It is a good Sunday movie to watch. Like, you know, just I, I caught it on TV, to be honest with you. I DVR'd it, if many of you know what DVRing is. Um, it, uh, it can be boring at times and kind of slow, but there are some fun scenes that were pretty clever with him getting away from the law, and h him and the girl decide to, uh, pull off this $30 million heist, um, like in Ocean's Eleven style, and they recruit a bunch of people, um, Burt Reynolds Associates. One scene that is so out of place, and, uh, you'll, when you see it, you'll understand is that as he's recruiting people, one of the, the, the pilot that he recruits is like an old Nazi. Like in the pilot's house, he's got all these Nazi insignia up, and he's got like Hitler statues, and he's just a total fucking Nazi, and Burt Reynolds doesn't seem to have a problem with that. But when he goes to the red light district in Amsterdam, Burt Reynolds, and he tries to hire somebody else to like kind of be muscle or whatever, the guy's like a total, he's like a total jerk. He's like, I could take somebody out if you need me to, I'll, if you pay me to do it. And Burt Reynolds is like, I don't work with people like that. Or, and doesn't want to work with this guy all of a sudden, so doesn't work with him. I was just like, you won't work with the guy who will just casually take somebody out if you pay him, an assassin, but you'll work with a Nazi. Very weird. It felt very out of place having that guy in there. I don't think a movie of today would really do that. It was kind of like, when they choose, like, when they have, like, a real old person in a movie that's, like, cussing all the time and real mean, just mean as hell, and it's kind of funny even though that pers person is an asshole, they tried to play that card with this Nazi, like, ha ha, he was kind of a jerk, but he's saying some funny things now, and he's flying the plane with the black guy, and they're quipping back and forth. It just felt way out of place, and I didn't like that. So, that was, it was very interesting, though, that that's the route they took. This film had, like, three or four different directors that jumped off the film and on the film. Um, it had, like, three or four different endings. It had a lot of problems. So, it's not the most well, or, put, you know, it's not put together as well as it could have been. Um, but still a fun little movie to watch if you want to find a good jewel heist movie. And what was the, guy, the name of the guy that was chasing him? Um... David Niven, maybe? Which I know I've seen him in stuff, something else, maybe like The Return of the Pink Panther, but he plays a good chief inspector that's going after him, just kind of like a creepy guy. So, I know the director, uh, Don Siegel, um, what did he do? I actually have to look at my list. Oh, he did Escape from Alcatraz, Dirty Harry, and Invasion of the Body Snatchers. So, a good, you know, the main director that helmed most of the project, but like I said, he was on and off with other directors, so, uh, Rough Cut. I'm sure most of you haven't seen it. Check it out. It's a good Sunday movie to watch, like I said, when you're just laying around doing nothing. Till next Saturday, Coffee Doug. Thanks a lot.